7. Rain from the heavens metamated. It is rest on the mountains of in the tenth month, on the first day of the month. The tops of the mountains were seen face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore his name was called. sleepy this morning. <laughs> All right, breakfast time. I shared this previously, but I don't think I showed y'all specifically. One thing I'm really trying to do is make sure I get enough protein at every meal. And when you consume whole food sources of protein, like meat, dairy, eggs, they often have a lot of fat with them too. That is not bad. That's not something that we're scared of. But I am just conscious of trying to get additional sources of leaner protein that I can bump up my protein without having too much fat. So for breakfast, I've really been loving these Belinsky sausages. I get these at Whole Foods. They're kind of pricey. The reason these are great, this one is the organic lemon herb chicken sausage. It has three grams of fat and 13 grams of protein. The ingredients are super solid. It's just an easy way to get some extra protein in. And I love throwing these in the air fryer. The other thing I do is potatoes. Now I share this inside my gut glow course. Potatoes, really all starches, resistant starches, which are the starches that really feed our gut microbiomes that our body can't break down, but they feed the healthy bacteria in our guts. The ratio of resistant starches inside protein or inside potatoes, there's not starches in protein. The quantity increases if you cook it and then cool it and then reheat it. I really love whenever I'm making potatoes to make extra. I'll put them in the fridge. These we made last night for dinner, but I put a serving in the fridge for breakfast and then pop these in the air fryer just to like recrisp them up. It actually is therefore decreasing the glycemic index, the glycemic load that this has on your blood sugar, but it's also feeding your gut microbiome. So look at that beautiful, nourishing, filling, protein packed. Can I just say, mornings are so important. <laughs> I shared this on Instagram, but not yet on YouTube. First couple months of this year were really rough for me when it comes to my routines. Y'all know I am very routine oriented and I have very strong, strict and healthy boundaries around like my phone and my technology. I spent about six weeks, the beginning part of this year, preparing for the launch of Gut Glow and I was working a lot. <laughs> like a lot, a lot, all good things, but it was completely messing with my sleep schedule. I would be on my laptop until 10, 11 PM some nights, which for me is like, I'm typically shutting that stuff off at six, like hardcore. And then anytime I'm on my technology that late, I cannot sleep. So I would wake up at like three or 4 AM totally wired with all these ideas. And so then I would just go out and start working. All of my routines and my boundaries around my routines completely melted away. Like I just did, I, they didn't exist. I didn't have them. So after launching Gut Glow, my schedule opened up a little to where I could get back to my normal morning routines. I was struggling. It it was really hard for me to get back into the swing of that. I kept reaching for my phone when I was waking up, immediately checking emails and working, and it just, it was not good. It was not good. And so last week I was like, I need to just be better. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm making excuses. Like I have no excuse. I just need to be more disciplined and actually take action on this. I literally took a minute to sit down with a notepad and write out what works for me in my mornings, what I wanted my morning routine to look like. And I posted it on the fridge and the last 
four days, I've done it very diligently and I've like been very cautious about my boundaries with my phone. I feel amazing. <laughs> it's incredible like what a difference it makes. I'm sleeping better at night. I'm feeling so much more clear headed starting my work day. And it's like, I know this stuff. I preach this stuff to y'all all the time, but I still was struggling to get back into it when I had fallen out of it. So this is just some encouragement. Honestly, if you have aspirations for routines and boundaries that you want to enact in your life, I seriously would encourage you to write them out, reflecting on what you want your days to look like and how to spend your time and what boundaries you want to have and then commit to it. I did just have to for a few days be disciplined enough to say this needs to matter more than this like temporary satisfaction I'm getting from checking my phone or working or whatever. After three days of doing it, I already wake up with a desire for my morning routine again because I know how good it feels and how much it sets me up for a better day. So it really doesn't take much if you want some help for doing that. My Star Chart Habit Tracker and Healthy Habits mini course has a lot of promptings inside it to get you to process through this stuff. And I literally went through that process that I outlined in that course and set it up for myself in a star chart so I can like check off those habits and it's amazing how powerful that process can be. So there's your pitch for morning routines. <laughs> Okay, also coffee. I make cashmere cup every morning. I generally have not had much coffee at all over the last like five or six years, five years, four years, five years, I don't know. But I have been so craving iced coffee lately. Being in Italy again last fall just made me appreciate the beauty of good quality coffee. And I want to up our coffee game. If we're going to enjoy it, I want to up our game. Definitely considering switching out our Keurig for like a real <laughs> coffee machine, but I've also been on the hunt for higher quality coffee. And I'm really excited to say I found it. Purity coffee. Right now, I just purchased the K-Cups because I just wanted to try them, but I have actually been drinking coffee every day for the last couple of weeks because of this. And I'm telling you, I can absolutely feel a difference. Amazing. Check out their website. I am so impressed. Coffee is one of the most pesticide sprayed products in the world. If you're not getting organic coffee, it's bad. And you know, I'm not a fear monger, but you want to make sure you're not just loading yourself up with pesticides, especially for something that you're doing every day. Purity coffee, I am so impressed with the amount of testing standards that they have, the tracing that you can do from bean to what you've got in your home. It's incredible. And the way that they process the coffee is better for your gut, better for your digestion. They have a few different kinds you can choose from. I got both the Calm, which is the decaf, and the Ease. I love it. I can absolutely feel a difference when I drink this versus the other organic stuff that we had. Because of the way it's processed, it is not giving me as much of that like coffee spike. It's amazing. So for now, I'm getting through the K-Cups, but they're definitely expensive. So I want to buy the beans. And then if I can get that down, then maybe we'll upgrade to a better coffee machine. But for now, purity all the way. Are you, are you kidding me right now? Look at that cold foam. Look at that cold foam. Starbucks who? This is so much tastier. So much healthier. pair of pokas. I desperately needed them. Nothing better to me than a fresh pair of white sneakers because I'm getting back into the gym. Now that I'm done with my half marathon training, 
I am transitioning back to my main workouts being lifting at the gym and hot yoga. I just wanted a fresh white pair. So these are gorgeous. I was suffering for a long time with a terrible case of plantar fasciitis. Like I could not even walk in my house without extreme pain. I don't know exactly what alleviated it. I do know that I trained for half marathon in those suckers and I had zero pain. So I'm staying loyal. The other package is so exciting. You guys know my Caraway pot and pan set and baking set, the baking dishes, I love so much. Caraway just came out with a new line and it is, if I can get this out, food storage. How stunning. I went with the sage color, which is absolutely gorgeous i almost went with the paracotta to match my pots and pans but i was like you know what they don't have to match i'll switch it up the amazing thing caraway has non-toxic non-stick products so that's why i'm so obsessed with their pots and pans and we've had ours for over a year now and they're still in amazing condition they definitely like the non-stick when i'm cooking has worn off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie about that, but they still clean up perfectly. Way better than anything else I've used. I've gotten so many friends and family onto Caraway at this point. Look at how stunning these are. These are like heavy duty, y'all. And the cool thing about this is it's obviously a non-toxic product for you to store your food and your leftovers in, but it's also oven safe. So you can literally cook and bake in these things. I'm, I'm so excited to try these out. I will definitely keep you all posted on my thoughts as I try them, but first impressions, they're beautiful. Well, I just realized I completely forgot to start the pot roast in the crock pot this morning. That's what I was planning to make for dinner tonight. And all I had to do was put it in the crock pot and I forgot so I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner but I do know for lunch I am just gonna throw together a little turkey wrap and some veggies keeping it simple I have been making an effort to come and eat my lunches outside especially in this beautiful spring weather I really have a goal of getting at least 15 minutes of daily sunshine. It shouldn't be that hard, but there are plenty of days that pass by where I haven't actually sat outside and just gotten the sun on my skin and my eyes. It's actually why I went for a walk this morning instead of going to the gym, because I was like, I need some sunshine. And of course it was like overcast, but that still counts y'all. It still counts. You're still getting sunlight in your eyeballs, but a very simple way to have it stack, make these goals that we have in our health even easier is to just find ways to implement them with things that we're already doing. So if I'm gonna sit and eat my lunch at the table, I might as well do it outside. Cheers to alfresco dining, it really is the best. And before I knew it, the day completely got away from me. Cashmere was home from work and it was time to throw together a quick dinner since I forgot the pot roast in the morning, but thankfully I always have some stuff on hand. So I threw together some bone broth rice and some ground turkey with Siete taco seasoning. I always have that in hand on the fridge. My cute little sous chef who is always at my feet while I'm cooking. Please tell me you saw that wink and some black beans. Cashmere is obsessed with these refried ones and I love them because they have very simple, clean ingredients. They're really easy to just add into any kind of Mexican dish. We always have the Siete taco seasoning meat on hand. And I literally just heated this up. It took about four minutes total. And I had some leftover cucumber and carrot from my lunch because I just didn't feel like finishing that at my lunch and that was our dinner. And then we ran off to church to lead our marriage class. I immediately came home and put on comfy clothes and then made myself a protein chocolate milk. I tried this new grass-fed whey protein from Equip. I'm not gonna lie, it was way too much stevia for me. I don't love the stevia aftertaste, but the quality was amazing, so I do wanna try their unflavored one. I do have the recipe for this chocolate milk in a snack video if you wanna check it out. It's a really great way to get extra protein and nourishment for your day. Cashmere was fixing our broken cabinet door. You're my hero. And then I relaxed on the couch and enjoyed my protein chocolate milk. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending this day with me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. It really supports my channel. I'm so thankful y'all are here. As always, I hope this was an encouragement for you to nourish your body well. Let me know in the comments what else you wanna see around here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.